So, here's another Ladybug AU, and this one's a Spider Girl AU. Now, I know there's like little comics on Tumblr of Spider of uh, Spider-Man, well, Spider-Girl, Lady Marinette as Spider-Girl, uh, tongue-tied, and Adrian as Deadpool, but this is more of a Spider-Man, cent or should I say Spider-Girl-centric story. Um, so, in this story, uh, in this alternate universe, Marinette is a scientist working in Agrest Industries, and she is a science, a biochemist. She's a bio, well, she's actually there to, st she's actually there to study the spiders and gen and help with the genetic the genetic coding of them and she has one spider in particular she's really fond of and she helped kind of she's been studying on tiki the, the name of her spider so meanwhile while this is going on um, she actually thinks that you know div genetically altering these spiders is actually meant to be like a cure for several diseases like the, their venom can be retroactively created to like um, cure diabetes or cancer and stuff like that, but really they're actually trying to make spider super soldiers. <laughs> um, Gab Gabriel Agrest, who is of course the head here, um, is uh, trying to create super, you know, genetically enhanced super soldiers for the government. But the thing is, is that Marinette's also really attracted to his son, uh, to Gabriel's son, Adrian who's very shy, and he's always curious, and he always comes by the lab to check out what's going on, and Marinette, of course, turns into the Marinette we know whenever he shows up. So, she also is kind of, she's also well-paid, but she stays around with her parents because she's, she's kind of afraid of going out on her own. Um, but the thing is, is that uh, she while she still lives with her parents, and while she's away, um... Actually, no, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'll get to, back to them, but if you know Spider-Man, you know it's about to happen. Anyway, so... What happens at the lab is that there's a lab accident, and um, thing, shit gets really real, Tiki gets out, and bites Marinette. Thus, of course, turning her into Spider-Girl. And when, when Spider-Girl starts showing up, you know, when Spider-Girl starts sh showing up, um, Gabriel's like, I'm not an idiot. You know, my formula worked, but I'm really, but, you know, the thing is, is that I'm really convinced one of my, um, one of my members of staff, one of my staff members are, is Spider-Girl, and now running, and as far as I'm concerned, that person's whole body belongs to me, so I'm going to find the Spider-Girl, capture her, and turn her, and make, and make a profit off of her DNA. But before Marinette becomes fully becomes Spider Girl, a tragedy happens. In that, um, a home invasion happens while she's away, and uh, when she's testing out her powers, and she thinks this is the coolest thing ever. Um, what happens is that home invasion happens. Her father is gunned down, and Lee and uh, her mother's left tra just in a tragic state. So now she's like, "Well, I was about to move out, but now I have to stay with my mom." And yeah. The other thing is that Marinette, um, this is where Marinette fully decides to become Spider-Girl and go around saving people, Me and also try to avoid Gabriel <laughs> at the same time, while Adrian thinks Spider-Girl is the coolest thing ever. Um, so that's kind of the main thing. Another thing that I wanted to bring up in this story that's a little different in here is that Marinette and Chloe are friends. Yeah, Marinette and, Marinette and Chloe are actually really good friends. Um, that they grew up together, they became close friends, um, even though Chloe's really, you know, rich, and she does have that snobbiness to her, but the main thing is that in this continuity, her family, like, funds, uh, her dad's is actually one of the board, um, uh, board members of Aggressed Industries, and she is, she has a lot of money to her, and there's actually, like, a fun moment, and this is the part where I get to reveal what character she, Chloe, is in this continuity, where Chloe tells off a guy um, who is pestering Marinette and her, and she goes, Marinette goes, man, Chloe, you can be really venomous when you want to be. Yeah, Chloe becomes venom in this continuity. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah. Also, I don't do the whole. I didn't. I was thinking about doing the the um, Ultimate Spider th Spider Man thing, where the symbiote is a, like a cure for cancer. I was considering that. I was like, nah, let's go alien. <laughs> um, among other characters that are completely who are who become Spider Man villains 
are uh, you've got Alia who becomes Dr. Octopus uh, because in this continuity she was a scientist who was studying with the, who was actually trying to uh, show off her new invention of these mechanical arms to aggress and that was and she was actually a part of the accident that caused uh, Marinette to get bitten by by Tiki and turn into Spider Girl, and Mar and Alia in here is a little out of her goddamn mind because yeah, much like in Spider Man Two, she can hear the arms talking to her, and but however, she was always kind of messed up as it was. Uh, there was also I can't remember his name, but the guy who was Roger Cop, who became Roger Cop in the main show, um, he's Sandman. Also had Nate as. Um, and I know what you're thinking, oh, Nate's Carnage, right? No, just because he's a redhead doesn't make him a Carnage. Actually, Nate's Electro. Nate's Electro, Nino becomes Mysterio. Um, Kim becomes uh, the Rhino. And I'm trying to think of who else. Like, I had a good one for Vault. Oh, yeah, the Principal. Prin uh, uh, principal Damocles, I believe his name. I don't care, I fucking hate that guy. But he becomes the Vulture. Um... Yeah, just so many characters, guys. Like, there were so many characters I really thought about using. And, of course, Gabriel, if you haven't guessed already, is the Green Goblin. Yeah, Gabriel Agreste is the Green Goblin. And you made me think to yourself, oh, cool, so I guess that means that um, Adrian, this continuity, must be like a male... Since we have Spider-Girl, um, that must mean that um, Adrian is Black Cat. He must be like Black Cat, right? <laughs> oh, oh, you're adorable. Um, nope, 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 nope. He does not become Black Cat, as uh, you may think. A male Black Cat, he actually becomes the Hobgoblin. Because, yeah, Gabriel, Gabriel does die. I did have the idea that Gabriel does die fighting Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Girl, excuse me, and, Gabriel, and Adrian swears vengeance on Spider-Girl. And, begin, and much like in Ultimate Spider-Man, he starts taking this goblin formula and it and he turns himself into the Hobgoblin. But not like in the sense of Ultimate Spider-Man where he hulks out. It's more like he takes it and it makes him stronger. So he becomes the Hobgoblin of this continuity. Um, and yeah, but before then, much like in spectac the Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon, in this story, Gabriel's the one who's really creating all the villains in here. Um, he's the one really kind of creating all the uh, the major bad guy, the major villains that Spider-Man has to fight. Um, oh yeah, Jul uh, um, trying to remember his name, but um, oh yeah, I forgot. Julika is uh, the chameleon. Yeah, there's another one. Julika's the chameleon, and uh, I'm forgetting everyone else's. I'm forgetting other people's names. <laughs> um. The, the, the kid who is the, the, in the green shirt, I'm forgetting his name, um, he's the, you know, he's the vulture of, the, this, of this, uh, continuity. I see, I, I should have planned this, I should have thought this out a little, <laughs> a little better because I'm totally blanking on a lot of people's names, but can you blame me? There's so many freaking people in, <laughs> in Miraculous Ladybug that it's really hard to, um, remember all the names. <laughs> Oh, wait, now I remember. It was Mr. Pigeon who I wanted to make into Vulture. Yeah. Can't remember what who he is in uh, Adiakumatize, but yeah. He's the Vulture, and... Yeah. There we see. Again, I'm forgetting all the names. <laughs> yeah. So, that was kind of my idea, is that it's a little... It's, it's vastly different. You may be thinking, who's the J. Jonah Jameson of this continuity? Well, the, the um, Jameson of this continuity would be... Um, yeah, I didn't really have one, actually. I didn't really think of one, because there wasn't really a character to me that really felt like... Um, I was thinking Alia, but I was like, no, it'd actually be kind of cool to make her a villain. It'd be kind of fun to make her a little... But looking back on it, maybe that was probably not the best idea in making her Jameson. That'd probably work better. <laughs> so I guess Jameson would probably be better for Alia, but still, her, uh, you know, having her as Octavius would be pretty fun, too. Yeah, you can see how well thought this story was when I just started to talk about it. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this Spider-Girl AU? Do you guys like it? Hate it? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.